Hi, I'm Mark Wintel and I hope you enjoy my latest video set on the Dorset Stour. I'm fishing today below one of the boulder weirs on the Dorset Stour, below Longham. There are several boulder weirs going down through Longham, Parley and Throop, put there by the old Wessex Water Authority in the late 70s to back up the water after the dredging of the early 70s and late 60s had reduced the water to very shallow water. There's lots of uh, dacen roach and perch below these weirs and I'm going to fish hemp and tares with tares on the hook with a stick float to see if I can get some sport. The picture is of this boulder weir in 1995 before the trees grew up. It doesn't take very long for the big willows to take over the river bank. This stretch of the Dorset Stour is controlled by Christchurch Angling Club. We've got quite a bit of water on the Stour and the Avon. After feeding the swim for a few minutes, they soon start to show up regularly. The roach take a bit longer, but they will come. Underwater we can see that the dace and roach are very active, chasing the hemp around, but now and again a sizeable perch, probably well over a pound, patrols the swim and drives out the dace and roach, which is probably why it went quiet for a few minutes at times. At one point the perch came up on the top and tried to nobble a dace or a bleak, but whether it got it or not I don't know.
With this type of fishing, it's important to feed very regularly. If I miss a bite and let the float carry on, I'll often feed again so that the, the, the uh, regularity is maintained. I cook my tears in a flask overnight. It takes about 18 to 20 hours. Just put a uh, cupful in a flask with boiling water with some bicarb of soda and iron tablets and they should be perfect in the morning. This is much easier than trying to simmer them to get them dead right. In this underwater sequence, we can see the roach and dace are feeding quite actively on the hemp. They're picking off the grains as they fall through the water, trying to pick the odd one off the bottom, despite how mucky it is down there, which always surprises me.
started off catching dace but the roach eventually showed they seem to take longer to respond to the hemp and tears using a Drenham size 16 silverfish match barbless hook. This is the stick float I used. It's just an old John Dean float taking about five number four. Shot it up with three number four, a number six and a couple of number eights. Not everything goes to plan while filming. I need to remember to get the camera upright rather than laid on its side. And when I tried to photograph a dace using a little tiny uh, compact camera with video, it decided it didn't want to be photographed and went back in the river. My Big Roach 2 book is still available from calmproductions.com.